morning everyone um, today is Thanksgiving Day I'm not going back to the Bay Area so I thought I would film a get ready with me video I already did my foundation and my eyebrows I thought I would just sit down and chat with you guys because I haven't really filmed that much I guess in the month of November I am staying in LA for Thanksgiving which I'm actually a little bit sad about that I don't get to see my family. The reason I decided not to go back to the Bay Area is because my mom and my aunt and like a few of her friends um, were all going on this cruise, this um, Baja Mexico cruise. It was really funny because at first she told me it was a cruise around Cancun, but it leaves from Long Beach. I didn't even think to check, but I was like, Cancun? I okay i guess so but cancun is on the other side of this continent so it's not around cancun later today i'm actually gonna hang out with sydney and some other friends for thanksgiving because sydney's down here too i clipped my bangs back um if you guys follow me on instagram and watch my stories you'll know that i recently got a really really bad uh, bang trim at least in my opinion it just wasn't what I expected from it. So I'm clipping them back until they're, uh, until they've grown out. And you know it's bad when like the person who cut it is like, oh, it'll grow back. Uh, that's literally what he said to me. And I was like, oh no. And now every time I wash them and dry them, they actually stick out like this way. They don't fall down, they stick out and it's just all bad guys, but it's okay. It, hair grows back, it really does. Since it's Thanksgiving, I thought I would talk about things that I'm thankful for for this year. And Thanksgiving has always kind of been a holiday where I I just feel very conflicted about it. I was going through Instagram today and I think Jen, Jen M, she needs no introduction or explanation. She posted something that about Thanksgiving that put it really well. Although the historic roots of Thanksgiving are disheartening, I believe any day that reminds us to be thankful is worth noting. And I thought that was really well put because it's true like there are some really sad historic facets to thanksgiving that are disheartening that are upsetting and it's hard to celebrate it a hundred percent but the fact that there is a day to remind you to be thankful i think that's important too because i forget that so often like i've forgotten how to be thankful this year and grateful especially when things got really hard i think it's just great to have a holiday to remind you to be thankful of the little things and the things that really truly matter so anyway with this video i just wanted to share the things that i'm thankful for and just also catch up with you guys in a way first of all i'm really thankful to god all praise to the most high <laughs> for giving me this life this life of privilege, of opportunity. I take this life for granted so much, so often. The fact that I have a home, everything is because of him. And like the family that I'm thankful for, the friends that I'm thankful for, everything. Like I take this life for granted so often because I think I want more, I need more. When in reality, like I have so much. I have so much that a lot of people don't have and I don't know how to appreciate that sometimes because of this like more mentality that I have that like it's not enough and that I'm not enough. It's so easy to get caught up in everything in the day to day and the things that we want to achieve that like I shouldn't say we because it's me. My family is, they're supportive because they're not pressuring me. They're letting me kind of do what I want and they're trusting me to be successful and to make it on my own, which is really scary actually sometimes. That amount of trust and responsibility and power, honestly. I was struggling so much to gain power over my life, I guess. I always felt like I didn't do the things that I wanted to do and I was such a big people pleaser, but once I got that power this year, I had no idea what to do. I just, there was just so much pressure and so much responsibility that I put on myself and like all this freedom to do whatever I wanted and I have no idea what to do with it. And it is such a luxury, I realize, 
for people to be able to tell you what to do when you just do it. Um, it doesn't necessarily mean or equate to happiness, but it is a very like easy way to live. <laughs> when someone's telling you what to do, when to do it, all that stuff, there is some luxury in that. And some people excel in that, and some people love that, it just wasn't for me. Whenever you get to that point when you make your own decisions, just know that it can either debilitate you or it can empower you. And I've let it kind of debilitate me uh, for a really long time. And I'm still kind of learning how to let it empower me rather than discourage me. Okay, I just went off on this really long tangent, but I hope you got the gist of what I was trying to say. Eyeliner is always the hardest part for me. I always need two hands. Another thing I'm super thankful for is for my friends. I don't know where I would be without them. Um, their continuous support and the way they helped me to learn and grow, I've learned so much about myself. And I remember, I think I first heard this from Leo, but you become an average of the five people you spend your most time with. And I've become such a better person. Like I know I can be an even better person, but I've grown so much and that makes me want to become a better person so that I can have a positive impact on my friends and the people that I spend my time with. The way that I think of it is if my work was stripped from me, like my videos are gone, my photos are gone, <laughs> my Instagram's gone, my YouTube account's gone, like if one day it just all disappeared and I didn't have it anymore, would I still be proud of the person that I am and the person that I became? Will I? Like that's the most important question I think. Like, am I going to be a person that I'm proud of? So yeah, that kind of went off on a tangent too. I just put on eyelid tape so I could even out this eye. Now I'm covering the tape up with some eyeliner. I'm also really thankful to you guys, of course, for supporting me and like being here with me along this journey and that I have people to share this with. And I hope that like you guys can find it relatable or helpful to you in some way as you go along your life and your journey. It's just so cool to meet you guys and to say like, oh, I saw your video when you were like leaving your full-time job and like, that's crazy because that's almost a year ago and you guys have been, whether you're like been following me for a really long time now when I was doing it like right off of college or just recently, like it means so much to me that like you care to share experiences and yeah, it's just, it's really heartwarming. And I'm, I'm sorry I haven't been posting as much recently. I don't know if it was because of the weather or just, I don't know, but I think towards the end of October, um, some of you may know if you like follow me on um, Instagram and stuff, I just woke up one day and just wasn't feeling it. And, and feeling it, like what does it mean? Like, I don't know. <laughs> I just wasn't feeling like, just wasn't feeling it and, and I decided that day like I really just needed some time to relax and um, rejuvenate I guess and ever since that day I've just been feeling a bit off I don't know what it is <laughs> maybe I've just lost some um, a bit of inspiration I'm trying to find it again I honestly don't know what it is I think I'm just trying to find my sense of self and what I like to do and that's kind of what this year was all about for me was trying different things and figuring out what it is that I like to do and what I'm good at and this is just so hard to explain like I don't know I just feel a bit like I'm just trying to figure myself out <laughs> pretty much like what it is that I like to do what it is that I want to do and who I am what I like what I'm not I don't know it's it all sounds very dramatic, I know, but I think that's just kind of where my mind is at right now and I'm just taking my time to figure that out. I really want to do something that I like that also impacts people and helps you guys. Like I love fashion, I love beauty, and I love music. Sharing music on my Instagram and finding that you guys enjoy it, that's something that I really like because music is something that I find really healing and the fact that I can share it and that it can be healing to you in some way, that really, that just is a great feeling and I want to find a way to do that in everything that I produce and I just haven't 
100% found it yet. <laughs> I haven't figured it out yet. I don't know, did any of that make sense at all? I hope it did. I'm just trying to figure out my life right now pretty much and what to do with it. <laughs> and I also just kind of, I'm struggling to be myself and figure out what that myself is. Okay, I've tried a bunch of different lip colors so far um, and I can't pick one. So I'm just going to do a plain old gloss. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and just sitting down and having a chat with me. I guess overall I just you know wanted to share what's been, what's been going on through my mind in this year. Also just to remind myself that I have so much to be grateful for. The fact that I can wake up and decide what I want to do with each day, it's a really empowering feeling and I kind of teeter-totter a lot between wanting more but also realizing like I have so much and it really is a privilege. The fact that you have Wi-Fi right now and that you can watch this video on your computer, um, maybe on your TV, on your phone when you're out walking or sitting in a car or wherever, the fact that you even can do that, that's amazing and that's something to be grateful for in itself. Um, I'm not saying that you guys aren't grateful, but if you needed a little reminder or a little, you know, nudge there it is so yeah that's kind of where my mind's at right now thank you for allowing me to spend thanksgiving with you guys i guess um yeah i'd love to know what you guys are thankful for um in your life and um let's just spread some good thoughts good thoughts uh so let me know in the comments below but yeah i hope you guys had a great weekend and i will talk to you guys very soon um i will be on a cruise for almost a week i want to say like five to six days so i may or may not be a little am i i honestly have no idea what's going on but um yeah uh, i will talk to you guys really soon though bye